Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike, and today we are concluding our review of the Lennard Toys Predator Collection, and we're wrapping things up with the Berserker Predator. He is the third and final figure in their 7-inch Hunter series. And this has been an awesome line to review. Uh, I was one of the first to get all of these figures uh, here in the U.S., and I really like them. I really do. I think that Lennard Toys has done a phenomenal job with these figures. Uh, extremely articulated. Uh, they've got 25 points of articulation each. Extremely poseable. Uh, nicely uh, designed. There's a lot of detail there in these figures. And they're also good for kids. You know, they're not as menacing looking as the, the Nika figures, you know, so the, uh, the kids can have fun playing with them. Uh, just, just a really great line. One of the things that really strikes me about this line, and I've said this before, is the, the packaging. I think Lennar Toys did a phenomenal job in designing the packaging uh, to not only promote the line, but to uh, give collectors something uh, to remember uh, about the line. It, you know, once you see the packaging and, and the different uh, points about the figure and things that they're throwing out there to you, it's just really nicely done. On the side of the box, you have the three figures in the Hunter series. And again, as I said in my previous review of the Jungle Hunter Predator, I don't know if this was done intentionally to let collectors know there's only going to be three figures in this line or if this is just wave one. We don't have any information from Lennar Toys at this point, uh, so we don't know. We don't know if this was just a one-time thing or if this is a line that's going to continue. And probably the biggest determining factor of that right now is the fact that Disney has acquired the movie rights to the Predator franchise, and they currently have a reboot film in active development. So, uh, again, you know, only time will tell. Until Disney or Lennar Toys makes a public uh, statement, we don't know what's going to happen with this line. The back of the box has your obligatory product shots. Really great shot of the Berserker Predator standing there. And uh, it has a brief bio. It says, Predators, the most deadly and elusive hunters in the universe, have now chosen Earth as their otherworldly hunting ground. Special forces, police, and intelligence operatives, now aware of these deadly creatures, have united to track them down. But really, who's tracking whom? Utilizing advanced alien technology, these deceptive extraterrestrials have an array of weapons for any situation or environment. From dense tropical jungles to concrete-laden cities, the unseen predators stalk their prey and will only leave with trophies in hand. Test your metal and choose your predator. Grab them before they disappear. Let the hunt begin. Uh, that last line, uh, grab them before they disappear, uh, I would encourage you to do so because if you haven't picked these up, there's a really great chance that you won't see them again. I also like how they designed the, the box to open. It has an outer flap and an inner flap. And when you pull the tray out, you have your diorama, which is really cool. And there's the figure inside of the tray. I don't like the gold color that they've used, but that's okay because I'm going to repaint him anyway. Here you can see the massive plasma caster that he includes, or plasma cannon as they market it. Here is the Berserker Predator. Now his head has a lot more freedom to move. And you can see it's on, a, I guess, just a swivel there. Really, really cool. I like that. I like the way he looks. Forward and lateral movement there at the shoulder. Double jointed elbow and wrist swivel, just like the other figures. He has a single wrist blade upper torsos on a really nice ball joint. I like that. This is a cool figure. Forward and lateral movement there. That joint's just a, a tad bit looser, not much. Single jointed knee, his feet's on a ball joint. 
And I presume this plasma caster, no, I guess it pops off. Let's see. Yeah, it's on a ball joint. So it comes off. And that one snaps on. My God, that's massive. That's overkill there. I mean, think about him shooting an alien queen with that. That thing would blow her head off. One shot, she's gone. And for those of you that don't know anything about the Predators, <clears throat> there's a lot of comics and I think even tie-in books about these guys. They have a sort of tribal cased system where there's different ranks. And that's why in the Predators film, you see them with a smaller predator tied up on that totem pole they're kind of fighting each other uh, they use guys like the berserker predator to go out and hunt down rogue predators and kill them and they have a strict code of honor that they have to follow and if any of them break that code of honor they die um, you know and so it's sort of fascinating how they intertwine this uh, tribal lifestyle and appearance with advanced technology that has existed for millennia for these guys uh, because they've been hunting aliens for a very, very long time. Uh, and as we've seen in some of the films, they even travel to prehistoric Earth uh, in the Aliens versus Predator film. That was another good movie. That was bad. I like that. But there you go. There is the Lennar Toy 7-inch Berserker Predator. Uh, this guy they need to make in the 12-inch, too. We need to see this dude. I hope they continue the line and make, like, the Elder Predator and Falconer Predator uh, to go with him. That That's that's really cool. Uh, that That's an awesome figure. That's the best one they've done in the 7-inch line. I really, really like that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video review. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me directly at darkhorizoncreations at gmail.com. If there's a custom toy that you'd like to see done or you want to commission, uh, send me an email and we'll turn your concepts into reality. Uh, if you haven't, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're up to 250 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support and those of you who follow me on Instagram and YouTube. I also have a Facebook page, Dark Horizon Creations. Uh, where I detail all of my custom work. I share news uh, from around the internet on different franchises and fantasy and science fiction. And it's always fun to interact with you guys and talk to fans from around the world. I love to meet people from different walks of life, uh, from other countries, and here in the U.S. as well, um, and, uh, and discuss fantasy and science fiction. Uh, so stay tuned. There's more to come. Thanks for watching the video.